Assalamu alaikum. Today I took part of Kurush Osman movie and I explained some of the phrases that he said. I haven't put the original movie here, part of it, because of copyright issues, but you can find this part in episode number 80. So let's start with the first phrase. A salam olan rabbim. Here I did not put the literal translation because the meaning is here the ad actor is addressing Allah and giving him, like describing him, the salam, the peaceful. And one of the names of Allah is salam, as salam. Let's go to the verb which is korkmak at the end. Here it's korkmam. I'm not afraid. Asla korkmam, I never fear. This is something usual. He is never afraid. Of what? Of the zalimin to zandan. Zalim is the zalim, if you know what that means, or if not, it's the oppressor. Tuza or tuzak, as it is, tuzak is a trap. Tuzandan from the trap of the zalim or the oppressor. And also, he is not afraid from munafihin nifandan, from the hypocrisy of the hypocrite. Munafik is same as in Arabic, al munafik which is the hypocrite. So here, I never fear the trap of the oppressor, nor the hypocrisy of the hypocrite. Now, in this sentence, we don't have nor. But always, as I say, don't translate each word alone. You have to take the general meaning, the translation which is closest to this Turkish sentence, and at the same time, correct. Her daim sana dayanır. I always depend on you. Her daim, always, sana, you, on you, dayanır, depend. Now, in this sentence, we don't have the personal pronoun I, but who depends on Allah? The one who is speaking. So, I always depend on you. Her daim senin selam lena güvenerim. I always trust your salam. Salam, as we said, it's peacefulness. Her daim, as before, always. Trust is given mek. Now, im, ben, or the actor who is speaking, I. The im is the suffix of I. So, given erim means I trust. Senin and the n, which is green in the Turkish sentence. You have to use the n when you say senin. Because, as you know, for each person and pronoun, we have some suffixes. The n, it's you, senin. Both of them are used together, but in English it's one word, your. So, her daim senin selam lena güvenerim. If you like these types of videos, let me know in the comments section below to do more of them. Ya Rabbi, which is Allah, I did not translate that word, he is addressing Allah. Bana ve neslime, lafzayi jalali cümle cihana yaymayı nasib eyle. Now let's start with the verb at the end, nasib eyle, which is grant. Grant who? Bana ve neslime, my generation and I. Neslime, or in other words, the, his successors, like his kids, grandchildren and so on. This is nesli. Neslime, my generation. Bana, me. Grant me what? The ability. This word is not found in the Turkish sentence. We are not translating word by word here. Grant me the ability to spread. Yaymayı spread what? Lafzı jalali in Arabic, which is the name of Allah. Lafzı jalala, which is name of Allah. Where? Cümle cihana, to the whole word. Cümle, in this sentence it means to the whole. Cihana, word. So to the whole word. Ya Rabbi, bana ve neslime, lafzayi celali, cümle cihana yaymaya nasib eyle. And finally, ilahi kelimetullah, davası için yürüdüğüm bu yolda sen ayaklarımı sabit kıl ya Rabbi. İlahi kelimetullah davası için, for the cause of the divine name, of Allah. 
or word karimi means word but i prefer to keep it as name of allah not word of allah so ilahi kalimatullah davası için for the cause of the divine name of allah yürüdüm bu yolda sen ayaklarımı sabit kıl ya rabbi so make my feet firm on this path that i am walking now of course he means he wants Allah to give him the power, the strength to keep him on the right path, which is the cause he is fighting for. If you found this video beneficial, please leave a comment below, like it and share it with those who are learning Turkish.